All right, back on our video. Today we are going to be ranking all the Chapter 1 Battle Passes. This is my personal opinion. The list could be different for you, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, gamers, before you continue watching this video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check that description. Go follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and check out my Discord server and everything down below. Now back to the video. All right, starting off at number nine is going to be the Season 9 Battle Pass, my least favorite Battle Pass we've had for Chapter 1. So, I didn't like this Battle Pass because the skins were just not that great. Half these skins are very bland and basic and just annoying to me. I just didn't like them. We had the Rock skin, which was kind of like Samus in a way, but like very like shit. You go to It's a Party and that's your buy for a Samus outfit, like realistically. The stupid chicken robot was awful. I hated that skin. Vega was awful i just hated how she looked and her styles weren't even that good bunker jonesy i think was the best skin personally for me in the battle pass he was stupid though so i didn't really like him that much but personally i think he was the best skin personally for me stratus i didn't like he was very boring and bland we also had the demi skin which a lot of people do like because she's a gamer or something i think she looks dumb as fuck with that stupid robotic arm we also had the tier 100, which I think was one of the worst tier 100 we've ever had. And just stupid robot. Fortnite loves their robots in this game for some stupid reason. They have like an obsession with robots in this game. For my number 8, Season 8. Realistically, this battle pass was a little bit better than Season 9 personally for me, but still pretty shit. I did not like this battle pass that much. We had the black art skin, the pirate. I don't think he was that bad. I think he's my favorite skin from the battle pass. We had hybrid. I did not like at all. We had the sidewinder skin. I did not like at all. We had the Conga emote, which was pretty good. I really liked that emote. Uh, we also had the Peely, which was the meme skin of the season. I think Peely was good, but I don't think it's that great. I personally just don't like the skin. I think it's a stupid, funny meme skin, but after that, there's nothing really there for me. Ember, I think, was just a skin. I don't really care about it. I don't think that many people cared about it either. Keymaster was awful. That was the knockoff ninja skin we had for a bit. And then Lux was horrible. I fucking hated Lux. The only really good thing about Lux is you could get her pickaxe. The pickaxe was pretty solid for Lux, though. For number seven, I have the Season 2 Battle Pass. And yes, I know a lot of people like this Battle Pass because of Sparkle Specialist and Black Knight. And I like it too, but I don't really have a personal connection because I don't own half of these skins. The only one I own is the Blue Squire. And yeah, the Battle Pass had a good couple emotes, but they're not amazing. The Floss, the Worm, and the Ride the Pony. The Ride the Pony turned into the other Ride the Pony with the actual horse, but... After that, this battle pass is pretty weak because it only had 70 tiers compared to all the other battle passes that have 100. So every other battle pass has at least 30 more levels that you can get that have maybe a couple skins in them and emotes. For my number 6, this might become a shock. The Season 7 Battle Pass. Yeah, I don't really like this battle pass. After looking it over, there's only a couple things I actually like from this battle pass. And after that, it's a pretty shit battle pass to me. Zenith, I didn't like. His Lynx, I didn't like. I liked um, Zenith's pickaxe and I like Lynx's pickaxe, but not really that much. I think they're alright, but... Um, we also had the Sergeant Winters. He had a couple edits I was not a big fan of. It's kind of the Santa. We had the Shimmer emote. I hate that emote. It's awful. Spies that emo. We also have the powder skin. I hate that skin because her shoes are so fucking big. And she did get an edit style for the overtime challenges, which is pretty bad too. Get Funky was a horrible emote. I hate that emo. The Indigo Ice was a good rap. That's the best rap, I think, in this battle pass. The Trog was an awful meme skin. I think it was horrible. I think it's the worst meme skin we've had. We also had the Onesie, which is my favorite skin of this battle pass. I think it was a really good. We also had the Twist Music Pack that was actually really good too. The Free Flow emote was really good. I really like that emote. Best emote of this battle pass, 100%. And then we also had the Ice King with his edit styles. I think the back bling about the Ice King is the best part of the Ice King. I think after that, the Ice King is pretty shit. For my number five, I have the Season 6 battle pass. I'm not a big fan of this battle pass in general, but I think it was better than Season 7 realistically. We had DJ Honor, which I didn't like. We had Calamity, which was pretty solid, I'd say, because she had a couple good edits out of there. We also had the Giddy Up skin, which I think was one of the best meme skins we've ever had because it was just stupid and his fucking big inflatables moving around. I think that was really funny. We also had that free pickaxe that you could get in the Battle Pass. It was really good. I actually liked that one, the axe. It was really cool. The Running Man, not a big fan of. It was a pretty shit emote. It's Go Time was an awful emote. Should have not been in the Battle Pass. Fable was a pretty good outfit. I actually like that one more now than back then. I actually really like the eerie music. It's actually a really good music pack, and it kind of gives me nostalgia back in Season 6. Slytherin was an awful emote. I hate that emote. Very bad. We also had the Dusk outfit that I did not like at all because she had the plastic wings, and it was just not a good outfit, personally, for me. 
We just had Nightshade, which is actually was a dog shit ass skin, but the back bling was surprisingly really good and it goes really well with a couple outfits. The OG music was really good. The flamenco emote was pretty eh. And we also had Dyer, which the only reason you got him was for the back bling. This is going to be very controversial, but for number four, I have season 10. A lot of people do not like the season because of mechs, but I'm just basing it off of the battle pass. And I think this was a really good battle pass. We have the Catalyst skin, which is the girl version of the Drift, which I really like this skin. The X-Lord, not a big fan of. He had that shirtless that uh, kind of made him look like a Borderlands character. But that season, we literally just got a Borderlands character. So, to the technique, I like more than the original technique. I think this one just looks better, personally, for me. Jaywalking wasn't a great emote, but it's kind of stupid, so I like it. We also have the DJ Yonder, or the Yonder with the three. I love this skin. This skin is the best skin in the Battle Pass, and I'm really happy we got this version of DJ Yonder than the one from Season 6. That one really sucks compared to this one. This one's really cool with all the edit styles he gets. We also have the Kevin Rap, which I think is my favorite rap from that Battle Pass. The Stride Emote's my favorite emote from the Battle Pass. Sparkle Supreme, I think, was worse than the original Sparkle Specialist. Breakneck is alright for an emote. Not amazing. Eternal Voyager, I think I like the Dark Voyager more than this one. And we also have the Ultimate Knight, which I'm not a big fan of. I think it's pretty eh. For number three, we have the Season 3 Battle Pass. This is a pretty solid Battle Pass. First off, we have the Mission Specialist skin, which did get Ed Styles later down the line. We also have the Rust Lord skin. It was pretty solid. I really like that skin. We also have the Take the L emote, a really good emote in this Battle Pass. We also have the Moonwalker skin, which also got those Ed Styles later down the line. We also have the Best Mates emote. This was really solid, and it got Traversal later down the line also. The Dark Voyager skin was pretty solid. Not a big fan, but pretty good. We also have the Trusty Number 2 Pickaxe, an amazing pickaxe. It was really good. We also have the Lee Agent that was really good and also got added cells later down the line. The Robot, not a big fan of, but it's alright. And then the knockoff John Wick, the Reaper. For number two, I'm very surprised that I'm going to say the Season 5 Battle Pass. This was actually a really good Battle Pass after looking into it. So we had the Hunter skin, not a big fan of. We also had the Drift skin. The Drift skin was amazing. We also have the Drift's Edge pickaxe that came with the Drift. Amazing pickaxe. Love that pickaxe. One of the best pickaxes in the game. We also got Toys this season, which I'm not a big fan of. We also got the Red Line skin, which is really good skin. We also got the You're Awesome emote, not a big fan, very basic emote there. We also got the Sun Strider skin, which was a really good skin from this season. We also got the Swipe It emote, really good emote from this battle pass. We also got the Sledgehammer skin, I'm not a big fan of this skin, it's alright. Another skin we got was Rook, not a big fan of this one either. The Breakdown emote, not a big fan of this one either, not that great. And we also got Ragnarok, which was alright, I think I like Drift personally more though. And as you can probably tell, number one is the Season 4 Battle Pass. I absolutely love this Battle Pass. We had the Battlehawk skin. He looks a lot like Thor from Infinity War. We also had the Carbide skin. Pretty good too with the edit size and all that. We also had Technique. It's pretty good for the time, but now we have better iterations of her. We also had the Popcorn emote, which was really solid. And Orange Justice, one of the best emotes we've ever had in a Battle Pass. We also had the Zoe skin. I think this is my least favorite skin from the Battle Pass. It's just very blech to me. We also had the Hype emote. I think it was pretty good, but the weakest emote in the Battle Pass. We also had the Valor skin. Not a big fan. I used to like it more back then, but now it's alright, personally. Squad Leader, he felt like a filler skin. Kind of like Sledgehammer from Season 5. Very basic and bland. We also had the Groove Jam emote. One of my favorite Battle Pass emotes of all time. An amazing emote. And we also had the Omega skin. The best Battle Pass, personally, to me. I love this skin. Such a good skin. And if you get the lights, it's even better. Now here's a quick rundown from my least favorite battle pass to my favorite battle pass of chapter 1. At 9, I had season 9. At 8, I had season 8. At 7, I had season 2. At 6, I had season 7. At 5, I had season 6. At 4, I had season 10. At 3, I had season 3. At 2, I had season 5. And at 1, I had season 4. And that's really about it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you agree with some of my picks for the top battle passes of chapter 1. This list could change. You know, my opinion changes fucking all the time on skins i might hate a skin one day and be like this skin was actually good or hate a season one day and be like oh that season was actually good so it could always change but yeah that's about it see ya